Hello and welcome to Hobsend. Hobsend Bros. What's, what's, what's that sort of sound? Oh, 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 sorry. It's a new alarm I rigged up every time a new brewery opens up, so uh, we gotta go, Max. Sounds good. Go. For an open window on the crappy world, Max and Chris from Hobsend. Hobsend. Welcome to Hobsend. And we're back. We're it, back. It's it's a little bit like the the bat signal, you know. I know. It's just, oh, it's, it works the same way. There's a trouble in Gotham. We've got to go. All rigged in this little thing, <laughs> uh, which works on little batteries. Yeah. Which amazing, yeah, amazing. So great. if you want some, put it in the comment down below. Uh, and it's all synced up in, on the same alarm, so no worries. And it might go off during the show uh, because yeah, there's always new breweries opening up. Like literally every. Uh, can you close? Uh, close? Uh, yeah, close. Uh, Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, so, Small Pony Barrel Works uh, out there that, in Canada. In Canada. Canada. Uh, opened up by Sean. We met Sean McVeigh. I forget his last name. I don't have his I last name. I feel bad now. It is, anyway, Sean. So, it's a very neat brewery because the only thing they do is sours. Barrels. Exclusively barrel sours. Which is amazing. And they just opened up today, and this is just crazy. Oh, yeah. No, not today, yesterday. It's gonna be yes. very annoying the whole yeah, time. Yeah, it's gonna be um, really annoying. Uh, so, it opened up <laughs> yesterday in your eyes, today in ours. Today in um, ours, yes, yeah, sorry. It was a great time, we went over there uh, a little later in the day, uh, yep. but it was still really busy. We were very surprised to see there was a lot of people sticking around. And they told us there was a lot of people that showed up at 12, which is amazing to yeah. see the whole like Ottawa beer community showing up for those guys out there especially for this kind of beer i mean yep. sours are awesome but i haven't heard of a sour exclusive in ottawa i didn't i don't i'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to work and if people are going to catch on because it is a yep. very specific style of beer uh, a little bit like if you would see like an ipa exclusive brewery which it, is yeah it'd be kind of weird but and we've we've seen some like breweries in the United States doing their wild stuff and only uh, in barrels. So yeah. I, that's why I'm not surprised to see those mm. guys like popping up and doing this amazing but stuff. But it's just and, nice to see it in the Ottawa market. Yeah, exactly. And how, how many barrels? 60 uh, barrels? 160. 160. Yeah. I had 60 in my mind. 160 oak barrels sitting over there in Ottawa, Canada. And you you go inside and it's barrels. Oh, and yeah. That feeling when you see barrels is like seeing new life around you it's just everywhere you know that beer's coming up or well, it's, it's just like a barrel in general looks good yeah it looks awesome it looks like oh there's something happening there's 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 a new life inside of this barrel there's yeah. something happening inside of there and when you see 160 of them stacked one next to the other it's like oh that's a lot of stuff happening there and you can't you can't stop yourself except thinking about like how much beer is in there yeah. and what's gonna happen yeah. with those beers and this is why today we're drinking the uh, Barrel Aged Sours, the Orange Whisper. So it's a mix of uh, two two or three beers that they've done. Yeah, I'm assuming two or three barrels. Uh, yeah, two or three barrels together, uh, blended. So a base with a sour one, uh, mixed up with a bread. Also dried up with mosaic hops. So it creates a nice fruitiness to the beer without adding fruits to it, which is really nice. Balances out with the kind of like sweetness, fruitiness of the mosaic hop, but also the little acidity from the, lactic, uh, the lactobacillus in the beer. And it's also bottle conditioned. So all their bottles, bottle conditioned. So no Which force. a lot of manpower goes behind bottle conditioning everything. So it's a hat to them. And I think it's the only way to really do it if you're doing barrel aged stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's the best way to do it. Either way you go like this, like the easy way or just all in and yeah, these guys are all in for sure and yeah it's amazing and all the beers so we tried over there at the brewery four beers so we had uh their uh, something for everyone which is uh, like kind of like their base their beer, base beer yeah. uh for people to get uh, in touch with the style but also with the flavors of the brewery so it's a good way to get started with uh what the yeast work uh, looks like their bacteria work so really a good way to get involved into it but after that they had a an apricot mm. and peach yeah sour which was really good then they had the uh, the cherries, the Montmorency uh, mon, 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 cherries, mon, mon cherries. Uh, and then they had this guy, which was the the dry hop one, which both of us went immediately. That's a good one, this which is, is weird because usually I'm not a fan of sour IPAs. Yeah. Oh, which I guess is not really. 
Mm-hmm. It's still going on. Yeah. Uh, it's not really a sour IPA. Yeah. It's a dry hopped sour, which is different, but still, initially when he said it, I'm like, I'm probably not going to like this one, but it ended up being my favorite one because yeah. none of the bitterness kind of goes out. It's really just the fruitiness of the hops, yeah. which, I mean, it's just great. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know. It felt so heartwarming over there. I, I, I came in with no expectations yeah. at all, which I enjoy doing this, like showing up somewhere without Definitely. no except, uh, like expectations. But also, um, all the beers, I felt like I was experimenting something yeah. uh, every single time, every single sip. So showed up, tried out the four beers. Try out something they have different. Three beer, three base beers that he put in the barrels, and then they yeah. add other shit to it. Um, sorry, which uh, is pretty interesting. Is usually yeah. you'd have one or two different ones. They have three, and I don't know. It was good. It was good to try out a little bit of each. And we had a chat with uh, one of the brewers over there. Yeah. John, uh, John explained. Joe, Joe, Joe John, Joe, John, John, Joe, Joe. Shit, now I feel bad. I hope he doesn't watch the video. Uh, we're just so we're bad with John. names. I'm really bad with names in yeah. general. So. Sean, Sean and John. I just challenged Sean James. John. Oh shit! They might know our name, so Ooh. because they watched the show. So I, I was Ooh. like, let's challenge them. Maybe they forgot our name too. So oh, yeah, I don't know if they watched the show. Oh, I'm kind of hoping they don't at this point. <laughs> but yes, so uh, he explained to us the whole process that went through the beers uh, and what's coming up also. So a lot of great stuff coming up with grapes, raspberries. He was talking about red beers and darker beers. So we'll see a lot of like different styles coming out of this and it's also a great way for you guys out there if you want to get involved in like the most uh, adventurous styles and all the different yeast flavors and all that stuff then uh, go check out those breweries they yeah. they do experiment with a lot a lot of shit we'll say shit again we'll shit. there's something going off i know i know it's um, crazy but yeah so yeah that said let us know in the comments below which sour is your favorite sour yeah, exactly yeah. and uh if you're psyched about having a, a sour barrel house in ottawa if you're from the region if not then you probably don't give a f- yeah but see i didn't say it I, yeah I, I stopped, that's crazy right I, I, good job no but I, yeah you i made, on purpose so yeah. that people finish the word in their heads uh, but i didn't have to finish yeah, it yeah that's, that's a crazy way of doing right? it video in we're, general we're gonna work this whole uh algorithm thing well, yeah, YouTube, we're, 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 we're coming after you. We're on it. We're coming after you. <laughs> so, um, Small Pony Barrel Works, open now. Uh, so go check them out. Go buy some bottles. Go drink some beer over there. That room is open if you want to go drink it. And they're right next to Big Rig, so you can easily grab some beers from Big Rig Ooh, at the same moment. Do both at the same time. Why not? Two birds, one stone. Two birds, Cheers, one Chris. stone. Two beers, two awesome guys, and one Hell of a great video. So um, if you do enjoy our little skit of Ops and Bros stuff, uh, subscribe to the channel. Always up subs. Uh, December is the, the month to give. So give us a subscribe. All right, and a like. And a like. If you're already subscribed, don't unsubscribe and subscribe. It's just and bad. Yeah. Cheers, guys. See you in the next video. Alarm. 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 Like it's fun, I